I'm Chaplain Peter Lawson. I'm the Deputy Director of the Joint Chaplain Office. We oversee the responsibility of the chaplaincy within the joint framework in supporting the Chief of the National Guard Bureau in meeting his uh, strategic objectives. There was a time in, on the Army uh, uh, chaplain crest in which there were two insignia. Uh, one was the cross and the other was the Jewish uh, Talmud tablets, and that spoke to the identity that was so often associated with what an American was, was so rooted in the Judeo-Christian religion. Uh, and of course, over the years, uh, our religious diversity has evolved uh, as a nation, and of course, also within the military uh, as well. We no longer have those specific religious uh, symbols, and that's the way, our way as the chaplains, uh, saying that we want to embrace everyone, regardless of what their religious convictions may be. A complex issue uh, related to diversity and uh, specific religious convictions uh, within the chaplaincy and among uh, other uh, personnel within the military context uh, related to the uh, same gender uh, issues with the repeal of uh, Don't Ask, Don't Tell and the repeal of the uh, Defense of Marriage Act, which defined marriage specifically as a marriage between a man and a woman. Uh, now that we have um, embraced uh, same gender uh, relationships and marriages within and recognizing those within the military context, uh, that was a challenge uh, within uh, many within our chaplain corps because that was against a number of their personal religious convictions. A chaplain it can never be asked to do something, perform a function uh, that is contrary to his own religious convictions or uh, within the uh, prohibitions of his religious endorse, his or her religious endorser. A uh, religious endorser kind of owns the chaplains, and, and so a chaplain has to uh, be willing to abide by uh, what that endorser is stating. And uh, a way that chaplains have been effective is through religious leader engagement, uh, especially in our OCONUS uh, missions, meeting with the imams and other religious leaders. But what we're also finding is that uh, there can be great value in uh, religious leader engagement in domestic operations, and that we have so many, uh, so much religious diversity within our communities that it makes sense for us the, to know a little bit about the influence and the impact of those religious leaders. Uh, who are there. So it really behooves uh, the chaplains uh, to broaden their scope and have a better understanding of the diversity of religious expression which is out there because they make very real impacts on uh, the organization as well as uh, operations as they take place. Okay, diversity is strength, and that's just as true in the chaplaincy as it is everywhere else and within the organization of the, of the National Guard. The more diversity conscious we can be, the more effective we can be in the work that we do as chaplains.